what we're about to experience might be one of the most demonic places in the entire world. You ready, man? Did you hear that? Yeah. Summoning all the spirits. Dude, oh, oh, it just oh, never oh, go, 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 go. That is the most scariest thing I've ever seen. What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby. Today we are going to be investigating two famous performance venues. Starting with Joe Rogan's Comedy Mothership, a spot that's never been investigated. Then we're going to compare that to Bobby Mackey. It's a place that's rumored to have a portal to hell in the basement. Let's go introduce our guests. Today we are here with Project Fear! Yeah. We're at the Mother... I want to get sucked up tonight. Get sucked, man. We are mean, but, uh, what? what are you saying? What are you saying? You want to find out? Anyway, yes. we have a video to film today yeah. at a spot that has never been investigated. First time ever, actually. Are we I'm confident gonna... that we are going to be finding ghosts tonight? Oh, yes. Confident myself? No. Self-confidence <laughs> down. down. Ghost confidence up. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be interesting, though, having no claims. Like, with you guys, too, when we go to these places, we have all these stories to go off of, and we got nothing. All right, let's go check this place out and then find a spot to get started. Oh, God! The Comedy Mothership in Austin, Texas was originally built in 1927 on 6th Street as the Ritz Theater. For a decade, the Ritz Theater would show western movies where drunk cowboys would show up and get rowdy to the point of even shooting at the screen. From there, it changed to a nudie theater, to a live performance venue, to a punk club, and then finally to the Alamo Draft House. The Alamo Draft House ran as a movie theater until 2021. Then Joe Rogan came around and opened this place as the Comedy Mothership in March of 2023. Ever since, Joe has been claiming that it might be haunted because the place seems to be alive. And because of its violent history of punks and cowboys, it's certainly possible, but nobody's investigated this place until now. So what makes you think this place is haunted? First of all, it's old. But it was a big rock and roll club, so there's a lot of like wild people here in the 70s and the 80s. It was a really pretty crazy place, and 6th Street has always been a very crazy place too. Right. We're on like the biggest street in Austin right now, I guess. What I've been told is that someone was murdered here, I think in the 1970s. When something evil takes place in a spot, you don't feel good there. Right. It feels weird. Residual haunting are the memories, the things that happen, the traumatic events that mm -hmm. happen in a building. Especially in a social building. People are going to be here all the time, so yeah, in death, so spirits might want to come back. When you got a building that's as old as 1927, the amount of burned in memories mm -hmm. in this building, they have to be crazy. Alright boys, do you like fat men or little boys? Uh, uh, man. Yo, hey, yo. one correct answer. Alright. <laughs> 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 Okay, I will. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Wait, so is this fat man or little boy? I think this is fat. This is the this fattest is man. Fat. This is, dude, can you tell how fat it is? How fat, fat it is? For context, we just came here last night to see Comedy Mothership show. Sitting right up here has got to be one of the best, if not the best comedy show I've you seen. You guys gotta go check it out. It's hilarious, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. So that was a crying laughing. Crying laughing. <laughs> oh, this is so Oh, dude, sick. this is legendary, oh. man. Oh, 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 oh. I'm here to make a comedy. I'm gonna start with my favorite joke. My childhood. <laughs> it was not good. This is just sad, guys. Cut, <laughs> <laughs> cut, please. Right. Silence. Right. Right. That, was that was good, that was good. You're lucky I didn't tell the story that happened to me on Christmas. Oh, what happened at Christmas? You know, oh. <clears throat> not supposed to talk about that. Okay. Hey, we're investigating a little boy. Well, I don't think you should say that ever again. Uh, exploring a little boy. Hello. Anything that has been discussed throughout history probably has some merit to it. And the idea of ghosts is just so prevalent. It's just something that doesn't depend on cultures, doesn't depend on geographic area. Like all over the world, people believe in ghosts. It's not specific to like one place where someone came up with it and everybody ran. No, it's like ubiquitous. It's in all of civilization. People talk about spirits and ghosts. Probably something to that. We are very egocentric to think that only conscious thinking things have memory. Obviously, animals have memory as well, but 
that doesn't mean that objects can't have memory. There might be a specific kind of memory that exists in buildings and in spaces and in places. And that might also explain the recurring phenomena of ghosts. What might be a part of that is like you're connecting to a horrific moment and that horrific moment burns into the building or burns into the park or burns into the space right. where it took place to where when you're there, you feel weird. Uh -huh. You know, and I'm sure you guys have experienced oh, that. Definitely. Definitely. All the time. So a Too much. With different energy. I mean, you have to wonder, like, how much of it is you playing with your mind? How exactly. much is it your mind playing tricks on you? Check this one out. Oh, it's a lot Ooh. nicer in here. This one's a little more intimate, Dakota. Maybe your material. <laughs> yeah, maybe your material. <laughs> yeah. Maybe if I said it in a different tone, like, Hey, my childhood! Tanner, like, you got the little boy? No, I don't. Come on, Tanner. Come on, Tanner. Stand oh, up. Tanner, oh, Tanner. Up. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, so, uh... Roast me! Okay, uh, hey, man. Nice hair. You look great today. Scotty, <laughs> <laughs> don't you, you mean that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> get roasted. You want to get out of here? You're the one about my childhood. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Dakota, he had this childhood, and honestly, if, uh, it was not good. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> Dakota's the only one left. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, that's my time. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, good job, man. Good job, man. <laughs> So what? That was really bad. That was so good, dude. Thanks, 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 guys. I don't think Joe's gonna invite us after seeing this video. <laughs> no, he's like, why did I give these guys access? There's <laughs> <laughs> a secret room. Balcony, dude. Yeah. Ooh. I think that was just yep. silent but deadly. I'm not gonna lie, once like the, the lights are off and we're all in here in the dark, I'm actually gonna be kind of scared. Yeah, when the lights were on, there was a lot of people around. It was cool, but now... That looks a little, uh, satanic over there. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait until you see the ritual we have planned. Oh, oh good. I was hoping there'd be a ritual. Awesome well, satanic rituals. Hand in hand. So this is the green room. This door is at least partially modeled after the door in John Wick. Because we wanted to have a place where people... Oh! oh wait, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. Find out <laughs> that's you are awesome. to be allowed in here. <laughs> that is terrifying. So who is allowed in here? Comics. And there's a code. That's it. Right. No we can't come in. All right. In. All right. Someone was murdered in this room. I think someone was definitely shot. In a hundred years, in a rock and roll club, a nudie movie theater, and a pool hall. Someone died. Someone died. Yeah. Someone died. Yeah. Yeah. Someone. Well, we'll find out. I was going to say, that is our job. Do you ever have anything happen in here? Any of the comments? Well, everybody that works here says that it feels like the building's alive. And that was immediately from the moment we first opened the club. It's like the building feels alive. It's burned into the, the rafters. So there's something about it. And there's something about all old buildings that I think they do contain some kind of memory. Even when we first opened, it felt like it was open forever. It was like the Overlook Hotel where Jack Nicholson mm -hmm. was like, yeah. 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 It's easy to that vibe. Down there. Yeah. It's like, well, that was modeled after that. Was it? Oh, hell yeah. That's oh, perfect. Good call. It's modeled after the Overlook Hotel bar. And no one has investigated this place? No, no, no. I had to get you guys here. Yeah, there we go. Well, thank you for inviting us out. My pleasure. Yeah, Thanks for coming. I'm excited. Yeah. Hopefully, we find something tonight. Well, hopefully. <laughs> Otherwise, this is boring. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started, guys. <laughs> The whole point of this is to compare the difference between a place that's never been investigated versus a place that's one of the most famous in the entire country. We don't really know much about this place. No one really knows much about this place in terms of the haunting and the lore. So we're going to start with uh, pretty simple stuff just to see if we can get some sort of contact. See if anybody's here, you know? Let's get started. Maybe, 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 just maybe it's nice ghosts. Or what if it's just Satan? Don't say that. I did, I did, I did, I did. I did, I did. I did. You always go back to Satan, man. Satan? You good? And the Stanley you Hotel? Good? I'm feeling like I'm levitating. Oh. Right now. Oh. 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 All right, let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> yep, a good transition into that. All right, we got two EMFs, we got a music box. I'm gonna set this back here. Yeah, does anything spike? <gasps> oh, oh, yours oh, just oh, went. Right there, all the way to 2.5. All right. Again, this thing just detects electromagnetic frequencies. It could be anything. All right, we are here at the Comedy Mothership. No one's ever probably tried to talk to you guys, but if there's anything here, any spirits, please, we'd love to tell your story. We wanna figure out about this place. I'm gonna walk in front of this box. We'll know something is here. Feel free at any point tonight to make yourself known. We don't even know if you're here. Feel free to scratch Sam in the face. Hey, um, yeah. Or you can push Alex down the stairs push later. Down the stairs.
Anything over there? Nothing so far. If there's a spirit here, like it could be overwhelmed or intimidated by five dudes. I mean, definitely. Especially if they've never been talked to before. Also, you never know if like, what was that? Oh, that was wait, you. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, was that not you? No, it's not. No <laughs> way. It's pointed that way, dude. Um, okay, and it stopped. What? If something's there, can you do that one more time? Just walk straight over here. Right in front of this little thing right here. You just did it twice. the other way and there's nothing there. Oh! Thank right. you. Wait, there's nothing right there. And it turned off for a while. No that's way. Not, that's not me. That's not me. It's no. just a motion sensor that points towards the wall right there. There's nothing there. So that means there's a difference in motion. And the EMF just spiked. Did it? No, no way. way. Okay, so something's here. Wait, so something was behind the bar. Maybe an old bartender? Oh, it just spiked. Oh, 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 what the fuck? Okay. Out of nowhere. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Is that a sign you want to talk? Can you spike that up one more time? Go towards this little green light. Wait, that was off the yes. entire time. Oh, whoa. <laughs> That's you. perfect. Okay. <laughs> dude, all right, it's up. We're getting somewhere. Wild. Wait, out of nowhere. Wait, out of nowhere. This, it wasn't going off for 10 wow. minutes. That's a great sign. <laughs> we see break out one more piece of equipment and pop it over here. Yeah, now that we know something's here, maybe I the envoy? This is where we need to Why? investigate it for sure. All right, so this new piece of equipment we have is the envoy. Basically, it works with physical touch. Pass through yes or no, back and forth, and if the uh, spirit or whatever is here and wants to indicate yes or no, it just taps right on this device. Oh, that thing's going off. Perfect. Okay, well, I'll set it right there. That's perfect. Can you hear our voice? Yes. Yes. It literally yes. is immediately. Double yes. Did the EMF thing right Wait, that means, does that mean right? there's two people? Because it said yes oh, twice. Right. Oh, I just said that. No! Can you double confirm? Is there multiple people here? No, so that is double confirming. Dude, it's just weird that the EMF is off and then we'll have random <laughs> spikes like that. It almost makes it seem like there is something walking back and forth. Can you see us right now or can you only hear us? If you can see us, can you say yes? Dude, it was going off like crazy, no nothing. It was just going off like every 10 seconds. Is someone still here with us? Can you come up to this device and tap it so we know? What was that? Oh, oh my that. god, that was <laughs> the <laughs> scariest thing. <laughs> we're on a very busy street. Yeah, that is 6-3 right there. <gasps> will you give us a sign if you will follow us around the club tonight? Oh! <laughs> That's super cool. Right and it was just one little thing. Just walked away. Thank right. you so much. We love to hear more about your story throughout the night. We're going to move on, so feel free to follow us. Investigation number two! <laughs> this is how we're about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're gonna be doing a ritual today. Um, this place is very, very, very haunted and extremely evil. Uh, <laughs> well, how did you come up with that? Yeah, we don't know that. We don't know that yet. You don't know. You guys, did you not see the first investigation? <laughs> Something was going crazy in front of the music box. So why does that mean it's super evil? It could just be a nice fellow that wants to hang out. Dude, there's no hecklers allowed yeah. in here. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Just yeah, running my set. I thought you did great. In 1885, there was a serial killer who terrorized Austin, especially around this area on 6th Street. This killer was known as the Servant Girl Annihilator, aka the Midnight Assassin. He killed eight people over the course of the year by sneaking into their house, picking up a weapon on site that was usually an axe, and then he would take their bodies and drag them outside to pleasure himself. Which is eerily similar to our investigation at the Velisca Axe Murder House. Because he would take off his shoes when entering the house, the only known clue was that he only had four toes on his right foot. However, the killer was never officially caught. But one night, a man named Nathan Elgin was killed by police after attempting to abduct a woman from a bar. This man only had four toes on his right foot, leading the police to believe that this was the serial killer. But again, the world may never know. And because of the proximity to the comedy mothership, tonight we're going to attempt to contact both the victims and the serial killer. All right, guys, so like we were talking about in the research, although there might not be a notable murder here, there was a very notable serial killer yes. that killed a lot of people on these blocks surrounding the area. Nathan Elgin. But it was unsolved, so we can't 100% say that's true. If there's some spirits around here and people want to talk, why not invite them in? So we decided to do a little, <clears throat> ritual, little uh, ritual, kind of like the Bloody Mary that you probably have tried at your home. Have they tried that? <laughs> I feel like I've had... <laughs> I, mean, I, I used to do it all the time. I do it right before bed. You guys have issues. I haven't done it in four years. Well, well that, no, we're hey, talking about something else to go. We're talking about the Bloody Mary ritual. Oh! We are going to go outside right now and invite the spirits inside and maybe see if we can learn a little bit more about this unsolved mystery. Let's do it. 
Where can you get your hoodie, man? Ah, uh, wow. Well, you can get my hoodie at shopexplore.com. I'll link in description. Or if you go to the Explore Instagram, at Explore. We're doing giveaways there all the time. Guys, check it out. And if you end up missing a drop, no worries, because you can find all Explore merch in Zoomies across in the Zoomies. nation. Every single Zoomies in America, and some in Canada as well. Just go there. Ask for Explore merch. You know where to find it. Wow. Shameless plugs. Yes. Let's Thank get on with our ritual. <laughs> God. Guys, we are here right outside the comedy mothership. These are the blocks that the serial killer would have walked around dragging the bodies of its victims. There were eight victims in 1884. We are here to invite them to the comedy mothership to tell us their story. They all tragically died right around this comedy club and a couple were like literally just blocks away. So if anyone is out here, any of these names that are written here on the paper want to come inside, tell us a little more about their story, feel free. That being said, we are gonna burn this sheet and collect the ashes of the name. <coughs> careful, careful, don't inhale. <coughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, my God, that is <laughs> Ow! Okay, that's an like actual fire in the alleyway. Right. Do we look like we were doing a ritual in the alleyway? <laughs> you know, we look like we're doing drugs. If anyone is out there that wants to speak with us, victim, serial killer, please. Wink. There we go. All right, hopefully this works. We'll right, see. Now we go into the mirrors. So we're actually doing a ritual. We're actually doing the ritual. Oh man. Sorry, Joe. I've never done a ritual before, so. You never? No. Oh, welcome to the Sam and Colby channel. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Let's see. Dude, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's Are you do nervous? It. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous. It's been a while since I've done a ritual. Whoa, whoa, honestly, whoa. Honestly, honestly, careful, 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 careful. Give me the jar. Give me the jar. Careful. careful. I'm gonna drop the jar. Give me the jar. Careful. At least we got the jar. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Let's cool. Go. Right. Safe the jar. So, is there a possibility this would follow us home then? Probably. We don't really know what will happen. All right, ritual master. What are the Why am I the ritual rules? master? Because you got the notes out. I just feel it. <laughs> All right, so just like Bloody Mary, we're going to take each of the victim's names as well as the alleged possible murderer himself, speak each name into the mirror. Is that just like Bloody Mary? That is just like Bloody Mary. Except so we burned the names and invited them in. This will be interesting. We didn't get permission from Joe to summon a ritual no. in here, but uh, sorry. Guys, I can't open the jar. Ooh! Wow. Hey, you feel so like I just strong, let everything out. Yo, you just let it. Let it out. There's no there's a smoke alarm right there. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Suck it back in. Everyone's sucking it. Start smoking. I think I'm gonna pass out. Shit, Sam, no. First one, invite you to speak with us tonight. Molly Smith, Molly Smith, Molly Smith. Shelley, Eliza Shelley, Eliza Shelley. Ross, Irene Cross, Mary Ray, Susan Hamilton, Phillips, Washington. Orange Washington. To the alleged murderer, Nathan Elgin, Nathan Elgin, Nathan Elgin. I don't like saying that one. That's creepy. That's a creepy one. I don't really want to invite him to come here, but. I don't think a negative guy we know. Alright, guys, so we're here in the room that we want to talk to the spirits. Final step fill the jar with water. All the victims. And hopefully, that means the spirits are here too. Time to start this very unique version of the Essence Method. Looks like he has to do it. Nose doesn't go. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we're talking about. Get that shit out of here. Like and subscribe. I'm working in the big room. I hear like a chair shuffle, which I'm familiar with hearing for most of our shows, but nobody's in the building. So I get kind of like spooked, but I hear a lot of shit in the building every night that I'm here. The security cameras automatically put a rectangle over any physical body okay. that it sees. And on three distinctive cameras in a very specific spot in the room, it had a rectangle. Whoa. One camera with the rectangle, glitch. Two cameras, coincidence. Three cameras, they're seeing something. Yeah. Something and that was like right that. after you heard the chair move? That was right after I heard the chair move. Weird. Wow. Okay, so yeah. do you believe this place to be haunted? I think that there most likely is something here, but I don't believe it to be malevolent. We are going to be doing what is called the Gansfield experiment. Combining that with, as you guys' favorite method, the Estes method. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! 
the Gans field experiment is meant to put someone in a trance. So that's what we're going to be doing with Colby here. So not only are we going to take away his hearing by having these noise cancelling headphones as well as the spirit box going on, but we are going to put two ping pong balls over his eyes, shining directly a red light into his eyes, putting him in some hallucinatory state. Hopefully you get influenced by the environment and then we'll see visuals along with whatever you're hearing through the Estes session. You ready? Everybody needs to practice rock, paper, scissors when they get home. <laughs> <laughs> Tape. Let's Do you get it. like your eyebrows? I hate them. All get right. them off. Good. Are you doing my hair too? God. Yeah, I'm doing it around on your hair. There's gonna be so many memes of this. Please <laughs> screenshot <laughs> this. Don't screenshot this guy. Screenshot this and tag us on Instagram. Yes, all right. Everyone. This looks really good. Yeah, this this should be your profile. Yeah. Honestly. Really? Yeah. This will look really good when we start recording. All right. You ready? Oh my God. Wait. Is that pink? No. You got these colors. Down gold. You're, so, you're so good at color. Oh my god, that looks terrifying. I am red. You are I red. I am red. I am the color red. Oh my guys, red. what are we even doing? I don't know. It's gonna take a second for you to get into the lucid state. So we're gonna turn this on and give you a few minutes to kind of relax. And then I'm gonna tap you. The first tap is gonna be when we want to start the actual Estes session. Can you hear us? Colby. You look dumb with ping pong balls on your eyes, Colby. <laughs> okay. Can he can't hear us. No. Right. This is an EMF rope, basically. The same EMF reader, but we have a bunch of different points of contact. So we'll know if anything enters into the circle, maybe contacting Colby. Again, we just brought in hopefully eight or nine other spirits to come talk. And so hopefully we get some answers. We could leave. Should we? We could kiss him and he wouldn't even know. Just leave. What was that last part? You could probably kick him. This might be a form of torture. He's good. He's good to go. All That's right. Interesting. Hey. Right. Hello. Hello. Who are we speaking with? Murder. Like the... The murderer, murderer or a murder victim? Mister. Were you murdered here? Can you tell us how you found yourself here? Now. What can you see right now? Can you describe what you're looking at? Oh god. If you want to enter the circle, we'll be able to see where you're at. Warning? What type of warning do you have for us? He wouldn't stop. I was up to no That's good. Oh, what? What's your name? Couldn't hear him. He was known to be like oh, really silent. Can he like take his shoes off when he walked into the houses? Yeah. Me? What was this building used for when you were still alive? He will find. Who's he? Can you give us a name? One year. He killed everybody in a span of one year. The stat is... Are there multiple of you or just one? Ooh. Whoa. Me? That? that night. You want to check that Some, quick? Somebody, or is that just the person? Nightmare. Debunked. He was still alive. What do you remember about that event, that time? Murder. Were you murdered here or were you someone who was murdered outside of this building? 4,500? 4,500. I wonder if that's an address. Do you recognize where you are right now? I like it here. Did we bring you here tonight? What happened? Are you confused why you're here? This is new. This is new. New. Yeah. Like this is a new place. Do you think it works then? So you've never been in here. This is your first time in here. Sharp? What is sharp? Silence. Can you give us a name? Who are you talking about? Everybody came here. Everybody came A man. Someone's over. Are you seeing other people right now? Are there other people here with us that aren't yourself? Him. Are you scared of this person? Oh no. Where corner? The corner. corner. Oh god. What corner? Where is this person? Where should we be looking? He's... Where is he? Jack? He's Jack. Jack? Him. So his name's Jack? The murderer? Jack the Ripper? There was like a claim that whoever did the murder scene might have went on to go become Jack the One? They're all one person? For a long time. Some Don't want to talk about it. Well, let's talk about something different. Are you happy in the afterlife? Ask. Do you like it here? Blood. Are you showing Colby blood right now? Images of the murder scene? Can't say. Do you know if something bad happened here within this building? Even if it didn't happen to you? Violent. It's more than just one of you? Eight. Wait, that's the same amount as the victims. Yeah. It's the same amount this of people. Exactly. And we're talking to another person. They have not told. Are all eight people that are here new? Do they come here tonight? Do you recognize all Bad eight? Bad memories. Blade. Wasn't one stabbed by a knife? The other ones were axes, right? Is that how you died? Are you stabbed? Gracie? Gracie was one of the names. 
<laughs> yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, that one. Oh. There it is. Uh, yep, Gracie Vance. Gracie Vance. Well, thank you, Gracie. We'd love to talk to you more. She wouldn't shut up. Oh, no, no, that's not Gracie. That's got to be someone else. He said there's eight people here. Can you give us any other sign that you're here? Get out. It's never fun getting that. Can you physically... And manage? then... And then... What, would you, what do you want us to do? Run. Okay. We don't... You don't what? Figure it out. That's what we're trying to do. We really want to just understand where you came from. I don't know. Is there any last message you want to tell us? We're going to try a different method. Shakes his head no. 12.30? All the murders happened around the night. Let's get it. Cool. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> First of all, I'm seeing some weird... Yeah, can you, like, before you take everything off, can you describe what you've been seeing? At first it was just completely red, obviously. And then I just started seeing, like, just black shadows moving around everywhere, but I couldn't make objects out of it. It almost seemed like the black was coming in like a circle, like I was about to faint or something, but then it would get all red again. There was no, like, specific objects or anything like that that, like, popped up or anything. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> this looks super weird now. Everything is green. Everything is <laughs> Really? Final investigation time, guys. We are gonna be doing a split up two team investigation in the areas we have yet to hit. That is the small room, the little boy room. I don't know if you should call that. The small little teeny tiny boy room. <laughs> and the infamous green room where Joe said there is a possible murder. As of right now, we have gotten some sort of contact with the victims of the serial killer, and we also need to figure out if that story of the murder is true. So guys, we ready? Let's go. Oh, yeah. well, then let's get it. This is goodbye. We never see each other again. It's been real. It's been fun. Yeah, what do we do? With I think this? you gotta drink it. Do you wanna drink it? Sure. I'll do anything on camera. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> what? Oh shit, talky mushrooms. It has a weird smell. Do you think that's a ghost? Someone may have gotten shot here in this room. We wanna figure that out. Do you think they're okay though? Well, that was a hundred years ago. Oh, wait, wait, wait we can see, see these motherfuckers. Hey, Look. yo. Oh my God, I don't know if you can see it on the night vision, but yeah, there's Tanner. Hey, Tanner. <laughs> Putting the jars up to the mic, what the fuck? So, what about these rituals? This is all tangled, I'm not good at these. No, you're okay, buddy. It's okay. This just started going off. Did you hear that, the static in it? Okay. Noted. Noted. That just started though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. Right when we walked off the stage. That's odd, right? That's like, weird. That's weird. That's yeah. weird. Right. Could have just been left on and we didn't notice. But we're here to find out. Let's ask some questions. Let's do it. So we're here at the green room. No way. Okay, we, we've been just chilling for like 10 minutes. Immediately. Okay, can you step away from that little red light? If there's something actually here, could you please step away from the rim pod? Maybe let's try resetting it? Yeah. That was so quick. I don't know, it might just be the way I've set it up. Try number two, try number two. If that was actually someone here... No. What the fuck? What Wait, it's going freaking on? out. It's really freaking out. So let me turn this off one more time. Third time's a charm? That was very bizarre. Let me see. Third one time's a charm? Time. Dude, what? I don't know. That might just be jank. It's broken. We have other batteries. I can put in new batteries. Okay. Let's try it again. That's weird though. Three times in a row? Is there anyone in here? We were just talking to what we thought were some of the victims of the serial killer. Are any of you still here with us? Can you walk towards the microphone on stage? You can hear my voice. We just want to welcome anyone into this room. And if they can walk up on stage for us, we have some lights on the ground and they'll be able to tell us that you're here. Are you walking in here right now? You can come closer to the stage. We have a lot of questions. I'm sure you haven't talked to someone in a long time. Grandpod was freaking out. We don't know why. Whether that's paranormal or not, we decided let's get new equipment. We got a static box. This is just gonna detect static electricity and the location in which it's found. So if that thing goes off as well, we know something probably paranormal is happening if the rim pod. If that was actually something here in the green room, could you come up to this red light manifest next to this just so we know that you're actually here and it wasn't just some fluke? Again, all you gotta do is just come up to this device right here, see the red light on the table. It'll let us know that you're here, and we'll start a conversation. Whoa, whoa, it just flashed. I think I got that. All right, perfect. Same thing. You just try that one more time with a little more power. You go right up to that red light, we will know you're here. And guys, just so you know, oh, there we go, there we go. Thank you. 
Thank you. Can you walk around? Let's see if it can go all the way around. Oh, it's going fast. fast. Holy shit. Wait, I've never whoa. seen it go that fast. Whoa, whoa. Comparatively to the Conjuring House, that was way faster. Way faster. Thank you so much. Whatever was here on the REM pod, it might have not just been some jank thing. This is an ovilus. It's just going to generate words based on EMF frequency. We'll be able to hear words. Like we said, if you want to come up, you brace. If you want to come up to this device, tell us your story. We disturb. We disturb the wicked. We disturb the wicked. Myself. We disturb. The wicked is myself. We're going to try asking some questions with the Alice box. This has a word database inside it, and spirits can pick and choose the words within it and talk to us. Can you tell us anything about yourself? Paula. Nine. Nine. We got eight downstairs. Matter. Matter. Can you describe the location that you're in? Let me see if it's like in the same time period. If yeah. it's like a comedy club or some movie theater or music. Are you in some sort of music venue? Or Paula, if you don't want to tell us any information, that's cool too. Just let us know. Climbed bed. Climbed up to the bed as in the serial killer? That's the only thing I could think of, yeah. Have you ever heard of a name, Nathan Elgin? Does that ring a bell? Kill. Kill. What? Kill? Kill, win. Kill and win? win? So she's talking about Nathan. Is your name in that jar right there? Or is this somebody else? Priest. 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 There. There. There, like the jar? There. You literally just said. Is your name in that, that jar? jar over there. The only name we've heard so far tonight of those eight is Gracie. Is this still Gracie? Murder. Murder? murder? No murder. way. What? It could be the murderer. Telepathy. So, I mean. Must. Must. We did learn from Joe that he believes that someone was murdered in the green room. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it might not even be anything to do with this. Tried. Tried? Tried. Tried. Do you like that we're here? M. Just M? Total. Yeah, just letter M total. Skip M total. What was that? I saw that. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're not reacting at all. No, yeah, we can see them, guys. That was just a big thud. It was like, and then boom. Was that you giving us an obvious sign? Paula, if that's your name? Can you do that one more time? Show. Show. Yeah, showing an obvious sign. What? If you want to make yourself known, can you just come up? Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, group. Okay. I'm gonna show your group. If you're talking about a group of people, can you show yourself to our friends over there? Can you give us a word to maybe confirm more about this murder? Friends. 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 Isn't Sam and Colby wait, in the wait, green wait, room? Wait, wait, wait. In. In? in. Isn't Sam and Colby in the green room right now? Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. So so friends are in friends, where friends, is murder. Friends in murder. Okay. Friends are where this person was murdered? Which is the green room, which maybe would add some credibility to Joe's story. It sounds like we're talking to the murder victim that Joe was referencing. Yeah, like it doesn't seem to be, it doesn't seem to be referencing this jar. Nothing's going on around this jar anymore. This could be something else. Alright guys, as you know, the spirit box is the best way to get clear communication. Oh! Right when we pull it out too. Oh, let's see if it goes as fast as last time. Oh Dude, my faster, god! Man. Faster. That was faster. Here we go. Could you give us a name? Did it just say Nathan? If there's anybody here, all you have to do is come and talk into this device. We'll be able to hear you. Whoa! Code red or something? Code yes. Can you tell us how you got here? One day? We heard there was a murder that could have happened on... Th yeah. Yes. Were you murdered in this room? Man? There was a man murdered in this room? Outside. 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 Oh, the victims were invited from outside. Oh my god. Can you tell us maybe how you were murdered? Give us some sort of a word. Yo, what was oh, that? Eight. 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 There's eight names in that jar. And what was that noise right before that? Right. What is back there? What's backstage? Nothing. It's a pure wall. What did we just hear? Like, you'd think this would go back somewhere, but it's... Let me show you. It's just a wall. I don't know. That was weird. I don't even know where that could have come from. Oh, it, what'd it say? Leave. Leave. It said leave. Dude. It literally <laughs> just said... It just said leave. Dude. Why do you want us to leave? This feels different. Confirm almost to us that it's murder. Waiting. Dude. Waiting for us to leave. <laughs> Are they saying this is their home now? Did we meet you initially outside? 
I fell ill? Busted or something? Did you die outside? I did! I did! Did you hear that? I died outside. We're talking to one of the victims. All the victims, well, they were killed in their bed, but then dragged outside. Some of them didn't die until they were outside, though. Maybe we just brought them from outside. If that was you who made that rattling noise in the corner, can you give us one more audible noise to confirm that you're here? Notice. Notice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you that we noticed you. Thank, Thank you. you. Is your name Gracie? Yes! That was clear. Clear as day. Wait, so this is the same victim we were talking to with you under the Estes. Gracie, were you murdered here? No. No. Oh, man. Was there someone that died here in this building? Or do you just not know? It's okay if you don't know. Legal. Something legal. Barely legal? <laughs> I think it said barely legal. Was it Nathan Elgin, like 19? Yeah. Gracie, could you give us an obvious sign that you're here with us? Yeah. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay. Wait, look how slow it's going now. Is it going slower? Actually, no, it's going. It's sped up. It's sped all right, thank you, Gracie. All right, I'm gonna turn on the spirit box. Can you confirm that you or someone was murdered here? Did it. Can you tell us how you were murdered? No. Something voice. Wait, so I heard, I hear voices. Yeah. I hear voices. Maybe like whatever we're, we're talking to doesn't know what's like going on and it's hearing us talk. I heard, whoa. you. <laughs> That was an F you. Gracie, could you please confirm with us that you died by a man named Nathan Elgin? Yes? Was that like a whisper? Let's debrief really quick. Okay, so Gracie confirmed perfectly that we're talking to her. And that she came from outside. The ritual worked, and I think we did bring the victims into this common mothership. It kept saying like secret and stuff. I, I don't know if like these victims or Gracie would even know if anybody died in here, right? Yeah. It's, it's completely unrelated. Whether or not the comedy mothership was haunted prior to this night, definitely seems like we got some spirits to come and contact us in here tonight. Joe thinks this place is alive. We've talked to employees who have had multiple experiences as well. So I think this could have some residual sort of hauntings, especially because <laughs> especially because EMF and Music Box was picking something up in the bar. But maybe it's just the spirit that doesn't want to talk to anybody. Maybe it's like a residual haunting here instead. More like a trapped memory and less like a conscious spirit. Other than the ones that we brought in from outside tonight. Exactly. So how do we get them out? I was going to say, we can't leave this place haunted. So maybe we go back to the guys, complete the ritual. I'll send them away. Were you murdered in the room that our friends are in? In the room? In the room. Me. Me. In, in the, the room. room. Me. Thank you for confirming that. Can you tell us how you died? Did you say I was 25? That's what I heard. Yeah. I was 25. Were you murdered where our friends are right now? Where Sam and Colby are right now? Were you murdered in that room? Yeah! It literally said yeah! And it was a male voice again. Dude! <laughs> thankfully, I thank thankfully, I... Something. Thankfully, I... Thankfully, you what? What are you thankful for? That's the second time I you said thank off. you. Yes, right over there. Which one? Right there, right next to the coil of uh, the cable. Dude. I mean, something is standing right there. Something just walked into the circle. Are you standing right here in this circle? Maybe, Maybe I am. Maybe. In a, circle. in a circle. In a circle. The room that our friends are in is called the green room. Can you say green room if that's where you passed away? We're in. Ah! Holy ah! fuck, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> I thought you guys were back there. Oh my god. <laughs> On the count of three, say thank you and goodbye. Three, two, one. Thank, thank you, you and, and goodbye. goodbye. Especially Gracie. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Gracie. Thanks, Gracie. Thank you, Gracie. There we go. <laughs> On to one of the most demonic and haunted places in the entire United States. Apparently a portal to hell, too. You know what else is a portal to hell? This ass. This ass right there. <laughs> oh, no! Okay! Wow. Wow. All right.
Alright guys, we're at Bobby Mackey. It's one of the most famously known haunted nightclubs in all of existence and it actually has an alleged portal to hell in the basement. This is probably going to be the most demonic place we've personally ever been to. So I'm scared. I actually can't believe we're here right now. So our goal tonight is to figure out why this place is initially haunted and also compare it to what we found at Joe Rogan's Comedy Club. So let's get inside. Let's go! I didn't tell you guys this, but I fully charged a second light here 30 minutes ago when we left the hotel, right? Yeah. Uh, dead. Already. So I have to like go in and start charging right now. No. We what? just charged two full things. These are supposed to last hours. Some believe that the reason Bobby Mackey's is haunted is due to the Licking River behind the club. It's one of the only rivers in the world that flows north. Along with that, the soil in the area is known to have a magnetic charge. Bobby Mackey's was also built on a fault line. So among that, the river and the magnetic charge, it's said that the entire area is a magnetic field strong enough to lead to hallucinations. Because of all of this, there are 40 spirits known to be in the club at all times, a lot of them being negative. Oh. Right as you walk in. This establishment is reported to be haunted. Management is not responsible and cannot be held liable for any actions of any ghost spirits on these premises. I've never walked into a building where it says like, you can't sue them because of ghosts. Dude, yeah. and then so many newspaper clippings of murder cases and hauntings. You know why they came up with the sign though? Why? It's because somebody claimed that they got beat up by a ghost in the bathroom. And no, it was no sued. Way. Sued Bobby Wait, Mack actually? before. Dude, it's already <laughs> different from ghost Mothership. Like yeah. this is way different. Dude, look. Okay. Oh, my Oh my god! A vortex. There's literally like four vortexes right That's as we start. That's not good. Dude, this has a funky smell. It has a little funk to it. We're actually at Bobby Mackey's right now. Is that Bobby right there? Yeah, that's Bobby. Yeah. Wait, really? Let's go. Back Daddy that's himself. The back Daddy. <laughs> oh my god. 44 years? 45 years? 45. They keep counting they keep up. You just scratch that off and it'll be a six cent. <laughs> What? Is this the LQ thing? Did he hear that? Did he? Yeah. Down that way? The Latin what? Dude, no, 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 no. Did you not hear that? When everyone fell silent there for like two seconds, I thought something was over there, and then you heard that like footstep. Already. Is there somebody here? The guides are here somewhere. Wait, where are the guides? I don't know. What is that area? Is this the pool tables? People have reported hearing footsteps, female voices, and have seen shadow figures walking around, especially on the first floor. And all of this happens around the pool tables called the Creepy Corner. This is the part in the research that was like the creepy corner where they're supposed to be like shadow figures right next oh, to yeah. the pool table. And it starts off and we're all walking this way after hearing something. Yeah, we gotta ride this bowl tonight. <laughs> it's eight bucks to ride it? That's so Dang. unreasonable. What was that? What? The little knock? Yeah. Wait, where? Over in the right corner? Yeah, over in the corner. Do it again, right there. <laughs> what the fuck is happening, guys? We just walked Did in. Did anyone move? move? No. <laughs> There's so many knocks. There's someone that wants to make themselves known. Can you knock or creak one more time? Did you hear that? Yeah, dude. That was over on the stage. I mean, I don't know. I don't like this is already. This is dark. so weird. We're gonna do anything for the demons, okay? We'll do anything. Even if it's cold. Sam. Speak what? for yourself. Okay. You're my guy. Bobby Mackey's. This is weird. Tell me from Rogan's. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's not a comedy club, so, like, it doesn't have the happy vibes, but. Yo, was what was. Yeah. Is there something over there? We all heard that, though. Yes. Dude, apparently shadow figures is the most common sighting. You'll see just shadows darting everywhere. This has everything though. It's like shadows, things will scratch people, there's poltergeist activities, even like bar glasses flying everywhere. I mean, below us is a literal portal to hell. Probably the most famous spot for hauntings in this country. Should we start a tour then? Let's do it. Let's go see this place. I'm Alex Reinsen. I give the tours during the uh, weekdays and I operate the pool on the weekend. And you believe this place is super haunted? I believe it. All right, let's go check it out. This club was originally a whiskey distillery, but was closed in 1919 due to the prohibition. Crime Lord saw an opportunity to open speakeasies and gambling halls because at the time, mobsters controlled the town. This used to be the casino back in the day, but oh. it's the pool room now. Back here we have what is called the creepy corner. So a lot of uh, psychics have come through and they said that this is actually a portal to another world. So right here? Right, cool. right, right over here. Yeah, I'm back. Back yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna see obviously orbs, mist, shadow figures. You'll actually have the building shake every once in a while. It's not from vehicles driving by, but it feels like a 
that old. Ooh. Yeah, it feels like my fat ass jumping, doesn't it? Uh, so anywho. What about things like footsteps or knocks? Definitely, definitely. So I've had them actually walking back here before. Oh uh, my so god. You, you, you gotta move from there. I know, <laughs> god god damn it. I was given a tour one time and I had an orb float from this table to the pool table and then I heard the footsteps walk right by me and I was like, okay. Laura, she's actually seen a man standing at the end of the pool table here. He was wearing a jean cut and a red shirt and that he had long hair, but he was standing just like this, looking down towards the bar. Oh, dude, yeah. okay, that's so weird. When we walked in here, we had no clue where anything was. Yeah. And right away, our attention was drawn to here. We get in here and we heard moving from this corner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the corner. That's the creepy corner. <gasps> Finally, Bobby Mackey came across this club. He felt this calling, almost like he was drawn to the building. Which is weird, because Joe Rogan felt the same feeling towards his club. So Bobby bought this club and turned it into a music venue in 1978, which he still performs at to this day. And pretty much since the day he walked in, the paranormal activity started. Unfortunately, this story may come to an end, because after our investigation, Bobby plans to make some renovations and possibly demolish the building. Obviously, we have main stage. This is where Bobby performs every Friday and Saturday night. Now, a lot of people, when they take pictures of the stage, they'll get orbs and they'll get mists. Sometimes those mists look like faces. And other things that'll happen is the doorway on stage right or left, people will see an apparition either poking its head out or it'll do like a sidestep. I really don't like being back behind that stage. It's just, I always relate back to it being like being in uh, mom and dad's bedroom close to Christmas time and you're finding the presents, you know, and you know they're gonna be home in about five minutes. That's yeah. exactly how it feels. You're like, get in and get the hell out. Oh. So it just, it's really uncomfortable. One of my uh, last tours, actually a couple weeks ago, I was standing here talking to him. There was a bit of light from the bar shining on this chair and I noticed a shadow moving on it and I was like, wait a minute. And I stopped my whole tour mid-sentence and I watched the shadow move towards me and I was like, Hold, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was the heater. That was the heater. Okay. Okay. You're good. But anyway, it moved towards me. I walked over to see if there was any cars in the parking lot that might have, you know, shined the lights in. Nothing. I came walking down. Yeah, that's what's oh. I can turn that off for y'all if y'all like. We just got to make sure we turn it back on. Something had walked down the bar towards us. All the haunted stories here at Bobby Mackey's have a singular origin point, Carl Lawson. Carl worked at the Bloody Bucket and became a manager at Bobby Mackey's. He even lived in the upstairs apartment for decades. As soon as Carl moved in, he started experiencing paranormal activity almost immediately, ranging from smelling perfumes to levitation and demonic possession. Carl would describe glasses flying across the room, full body apparitions, as well as cold hands choking him and throwing him to the ground. After all of this, Carl's mental health rapidly declined, so they called a reverend who deemed him to be demonically possessed. And it got so bad that in 1993, they actually performed an exorcism on Carl for six hours in the kitchen area. What makes this even crazier for us specifically is that these demonic entities called themselves Charlie and Sam. The demons would force Carl to scream, this body is mine, and that they had a right to be there because they have existed for 6,000 years. I'm going to help Carl to live a life of peace. Carl's not worth, yes he is, he's not worth the lives it can cost. Now leave him alone. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. This right here used to be the kitchen back in the day. This is where Carl supposedly had his exorcism performed. Oh, right there. Wait, what? what? Right here? Do you personally believe he was demonically possessed? I don't know. Maybe. You know, maybe. I definitely had some negative things happen to me, so. A lot of stuff that'll happen back here is chairs will move. You'll hear footsteps. Dude, we are already hearing oh, footsteps. Yeah. A lot of times for me, what'll happen is I'll stand on the dance floor and I'll look back and I'll actually see shadow figures walking back and forth. Dude, that is like weird. In front of the, uh, in front of the windows. <laughs> already has been happening to us. And we were looking in that direction. Yeah. yeah. We're standing right where he said. Yeah. One time Carl saw a spirit over by the bar leading him to fall on this cactus decoration and when it broke thousands of spiders came out and crawled all over his body he ran and jumped into the river behind bobby mackey's but when he emerged there were no spiders so was it a dream was it a possession we don't know. He even had a story where a spirit tried to drown him in his own bathtub. What's crazy is there's only been like two places where a demonic entity has actually tried to kill somebody, like the Bell Witch Cave and the Conjuring. And now here, shit. 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 
go down to the basement, you have to go outside. Oh god. What we're about to experience might be one of the most demonic places in the entire world. And we're just gonna waltz in there like nothing? Could this be conjuring level? I think so. From the demonic possessions, poltergeist activity, all the negativity. All the stories we've heard our whole lives. To be walking in right now is so unreal. Many believe that the source of all the negative activity here is due to the portal to hell in the basement. The negative activity is mainly trickster spirits who target solo investigators rather than groups. Physical interactions here are extremely common, where visitors have been pushed, have had their hair pulled, and have even experienced harsh scratches. Many religious artifacts, including cross necklaces, are targeted, leading a lot of people to believe this place is demonic. Yeah, yeah like, what happened? Happened? something malfunctioned. This and pipe started bursting too. Wait, where'd it go? I'm just so lonely here now. Yeah, I backed it all the way out. It's not working. Dude, there's a big possibility we might not be able to film down here. Like, why? It's, it's also getting, getting worse. Oh my god. Wait, Wait and another one over there. Wait, now. this thing is going Wait, down. I don't know if we should stand This down is here. crazy. What the fuck is happening? Guys. I'm fucking oh my god, this what pipe just burst too. One, two, three pipes. It's like it's mocking us already. Let's go make sure he knows about this. Holy place. shit. I'm gonna actually stop right here because I don't like hanging out in this room. Whoa. Uh, so this is what I call the green room. Supposedly there is something in there that just doesn't like people being in there. There's a sink here that was up in the kitchen and that's the one that filled with blood when Janet Mackey was being shoved into it. Bobby Mackey's wife Janet was pushed up into a sink and when she looked down in it, it was full of blood. She obviously panicked and ran away, but when she came back, all of the blood in the sink had disappeared. I've actually heard chains being drugged through here. One tour I had a lady bring another ovulus. It said mother next killed. Oh, and there was a lady that was four months pregnant on my tour. Do you think there is a little bit of a possibility that entity could have done all of this to steer us out of here? It's done physical harm to people. It's scratched my wife before. Um, oh, wait, what? what? Yeah, it, it scratched my wife. She had three scratches going down. Oh time. my god. See people being scratched, possessed. Where do you think the evil comes from here? I mean, I know there's a lot of rumors about the well being used for satanic rituals and things like that. You so, know, I have no clue. We know that there was kind of some mob activity mm -hmm. here too. Do you think that has something to do with it? All the negative energy? From Very well believe it could be. In 1943, a man named Buck Brady bought this building and named it the Primrose Country Club Casino. The Primrose started cutting into local mob profits and since Brady refused to sell the building, a mob man named Red was sent to pressure him. Well, they saw this place after the casino opened up and how much money it was bringing in and they wanted a slice of the pot. Buck didn't want to turn it over. Eventually, they started sending threats Buck got tired of it. He ended up shooting a mobster by the name of Fred Masterson, who did live, and when they went to trial, you know, everything was thrown out. Well, the mob approached him again, and they were like, look, you're gonna hand it over, or we're just gonna kill you. And so he handed it over. In 1947, the building was left to the mob's control, which they opened as the Latin Quarter. This is where the club turned extremely violent. You can even see bullet holes in the wall. It became the Latin Quarters, and that's when it was mob run. They were getting a lot of money from people that would win big, and they're like, all right, now we want our cut. And if they didn't comply, you know, they would do what the mob does. There was a cell in the basement for those who couldn't pay their debts, and gambling cheaters were sent down there to be tortured in the dark. The tunnel beneath the casino was used to see secretly transport alcohol to the club. But delivery men admitted later on that the mob would actually use these tunnels to get rid of barrels of concrete and throw them into the river. Yeah, there was definitely some murders happening in this basement. 
On February 1st, 1896, the headless body of a 22-year-old woman was found about two miles from Bobby Mackey's. Pearl Bryan had gone to go see her secret lover, Scott Jackson, but he found out that she was five months pregnant. Scott was enraged, so he teamed up with his roommate, Alonzo Walling, to help him induce a miscarriage. But after the official surgery failed, they attempted to do it themselves, but were unsuccessful. At this point, Pearl was barely clinging on to life, so they panicked and decapitated her in the woods. Also, legend has it that Scott and Alonzo took Pearl's head and used it in a satanic ritual where they took it down to the basement of Bobby Mackey's and threw it down the well, but none of this is proven. Both Scott and Alonzo were sentenced to a hanging. Due to the lack of rope, neither of their necks broke, so they slowly suffocated to death. Thrashing and yelling and kicking around until the souls left their body. <laughs> This is the this portal. is the portal to hell right, right over here. It's not as deep yeah. as I imagine. So it, it is capped off. That's because we do have the Licking River right behind us. Once it hits to a certain point, it'll actually come up and it'll flood. I've had a lot of stuff happen here. I've been grabbed in this room. I've had countless people scratched in this room. We've had things get thrown from the jail cell there. That's oh, that's the, that cell? the jail cell. Weirdest vibes over there. I was like that staring at the, the jail whole time cell. Oh, um, God. So yeah, we've had things thrown from there as well as shadow figures that like to come out as well as you know. Girl. Um, Not it. <laughs> oh! Oh! Wrong game. This right here is the stairway to nowhere. They would have a trap door up there and this led to the main office. You'll hear footsteps that typically stop right here in the threshold. You'll see white mists, you'll see black masses, things like that. I always get asked, you know, does anybody run out and scream and freak out? I'm like, oh, and I had one lady just going through. She was having a good time, laughing with the jokes, taking pictures. And she came in here, and I'm standing here talking, and she just breaks down, starts crying, and runs away. At the end of the night, she came up, and she was apologizing. I'm like, ma'am, please, I, I get it. And she goes, well, do you mind going through some pictures with me? She showed me a picture of me standing here, and you see something laying long ways like this. You can make out the body figure. It looked like it had two cat ear horns, but it had two yellow eyes. Oh, oh my yeah, it God. That sounds evil. Other than this, the three haunted spots in the basement include the dressing room, the holding cell, and the room of faces. There's extreme demonic activity in these rooms, where feelings of panic, scratches, and burning sensations occur. Right back into here, to what we call the room of faces. What we have here looks like to be a demon looking up at the ceiling screaming. You can actually see eye, nostrils, mouth wide open, some fangs. I call this one the Grim Reaper. You can see the skeletal face, the hood, cloak, oh. arms sticking out maybe the scythe. You also have the lady laying in bed here. You can see her dark hair resting on a white pillow. Her head, her neck, it looks like she's either wearing a scarf or her hair straight over, her arm dangling down. Oh, oh yeah, I can see that. George W. Bush. Because <laughs> it kind of looks like old W. You all have seen a picture of Pearl Bryan. This right here, to me, looks like her. You can actually see her chin, her mouth, her nose, eyes. And she had real poofy hair right up oh. top. Oh. Whoa. Do you think Pearl haunts here? I've heard stories that she does. What about uh, Johanna? I think there is a, definitely a spirit here that could be Johanna. What is you that? Get <laughs> you get a lot of people who talk about the rose scented perfume and how. What was that? Was that down here? That sounded yeah. like it sounded down like here. Not it was up there. I thought it was down here. It sounded like right there. It sounded like it was actually down here. Not I heard that. I thought it was. Ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Do you think, because like Bobby Mackey's is going to tear this down, like renovate completely, do you think that that could like spark the haunting because they know there's about to be changed? When the talk that they were supposedly going to tear down, when that started, it got pretty wild here. Oh. Um, you know, a lot of things were happening. I would be in this room. At one point I had something come over when I asked who was here and it went, the devil. And then all of a sudden in the back over here in the corner, you just heard a low growl. I have a friend down here I call my smart ass friend, or I also call him Peeves from Harry Potter. For the longest time he was my smart ass friend because he gave me a lot of yups, maybes, and nopes. Until I was like, all right, I'm gonna give you a name. It's Peeves, and he said, no, Sheriff. And I said, okay, Sheriff Peeves. And he was like, no, Sheriff. Wow. And the sheriff that got this place shut down is still here making sure that shit's going straight and narrow, right? But you see that we also have toys. Yeah. This is because we do have children's spirits that uh, haunt the place. It could be from anybody that lived up and down the road here. Taking yeah. the form of a little girl would make you be more accepting to talking to this thing. Exactly. And letting it What is that going on? Okay. Something is literally moving over there. Do you hear it? Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's happening right it's now. Still Oh, that's a bomb. It was 
the most famous spirits here is Johanna Jewell, and her story originates with Carl Lawson as well. The story goes that Carl was awoken by a young girl spirit who told him to go dig a hole in the basement. He took a pickaxe and ended up discovering the 1860s distillery well, along with a bunch of handwritten notes. One of the notes said, My name is Johanna, and I beg you to help me. I'm a prisoner of hell. Go search the spotlight room. And when Carl went to go search this spotlight room, he found a journal that described the entire life of Johanna. She was a dancer during the Latin Quarter era and fell in love with a man named Robert Randall. Both Johanna and Robert are known to haunt the club today. Now her journal was transcribed, but the original was accidentally burnt in a fire, so we actually don't know how much of her story is true. The Latin Quarter dressing rooms are still in the basement today, and this is where Johanna manifests with the smell of roses and the touch on the elbow. So this right here is Johanna's dressing room. We do get a, a lot of activity in here as far as the perfume scent. The chairs will move, the hair gets touched. We had one person catch an apparition of a man hanging from the rafters. That's how they believe, That's how they believe Robert Randall was killed, Johanna's lover. How do you explain the, the footprints on the wall? Yeah, well, uh, they, get, they run wild when we're not here. No, it's just where somebody- <laughs> I was gonna say, who runs wild? Wait, so casually. But yeah, Johanna's definitely uh, pictures in here. I actually had somebody take a picture of me one time leaning in the doorway and there was a man standing with his arm around me. And you yeah. can see he was wearing a flannel shirt, blue jeans, and boots. Do you hear that? So, what, what the fuck is that? Out there. That's not, not me, but something moved up. Yeah, no, I was hearing that. What'd you hear? I just like, once again, like something like running. Yeah. That scared the crap out of me. What, what, what'd you Did just I, say? I saw a shadow, like, walk by back towards the dressing rooms. No. <laughs> oh, wait, with the light is still on over you there. just heard a noise, like, right there. I turned back to look, and something had caught my eye back there. Time to do this by ourselves now. <laughs> Let's go. Obviously, we have the bathrooms. We have a lot of people that they say that the trash can's been thrown at them and things like that. Um, what? Inside of there. What, what happened? Yeah. Literally, we're, what happened? We're walking from inside the bathroom, and then from right here, we just hear. What? I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Not even. Not even a slight. Dude, there's nothing even over here. What, what the fuck that? was that? Was that? Was that? Again. What was that? That literally just happened yeah. in front. That yeah. literally just but happened like, in front of our eyes. What is happening? What the, what? Dude, I thought it was this like just no, being loose, solid. Something. Okay. Okay. Huh. Is that what we heard downstairs? Because downstairs is like... Yeah. Yeah, it was like this. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. It was exactly this like that. literally what just happened in front of us. I heard that right, right when we... We were all in the, in the, like, gift shop area. No one was out here. You guys what are, you guys are both in here? Yo, that's in not there, cool. Doing our business. Yeah, doing our thing. Out, joking around and then all of a sudden just appear on the wall. Like that. Oh my god, Dude, guys! That terrifying. What the hell? Dude, he said he doesn't experience much down here. And we get it after like five minutes. I was gonna say, we haven't even started, started anything. <laughs> Dude, that's so freaky though. Oh. What the hell? What? Okay, I don't know. Okay. We need to go pee here. I know. Feel safe. Do you want to pee with me, Dakota? Yeah, let's go. Alright, so yeah, use the buddy system tonight, boys. <laughs> yeah. That's that wasn't you. Is it? Okay, hold on. Wait, hold on. wait, yeah, walk. walk. The hallway. What on, the no, fuck that, was that? Watch. Let me just walk the hallway. No shot. Okay, no, no, no. Wait, I'm gonna try something real quick. Dude, no! What is happening? What? What? Dude, three what? Times. what? Three times now. <laughs> that scared me. I no. for sure thought it was gonna be just from us walking, like it would do something, but no. Oh, no. Yes, exactly. Like that. Like that. Holy, 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 we're trying to get an experiment done. I think something's fucking with us already. And the pipes burst downstairs. Like what? <laughs> what, the fuck? <laughs> what is happening? We literally just got left alone. And no, okay. We didn't hear many noises at Joe Rogan. It's like uh -uh. You know, no. it's a lot of like device stuff. But now we've already heard noises down there when we first walked in. Seen shadow figures. Everything. Guys. I think we can, you know, we can confirm it. I confirm think it up. The yep. place is haunted. The place is haunted, I think we confirm. But we gotta figure out why.
All right, now we have Bobby Mackey's here to ourselves. Everyone has exited the building. We got the envoy. Meter goes back, yes or no. And then if a spirit were to touch or physically interact with this, it will go off. We also got to keep an eye out over there because apparently Carl was seen sitting right there, peeking his head around the corner. Behind this corner is where the creepy corner is. And we heard so footsteps already. We've already been hearing so much tonight, dude. So much. This is like a good central area. Just kind of see where it takes us. Just as a general thing, if there's anybody here at Bobby Mackey's that wants to talk to us tonight, please make yourself known. Come up and touch this little green light. We'll know you're here. Oh, it's, it's definitely spiking. Thank you. Is anybody here that wants to talk to us? <gasps> yes. You can give us any other sign as well. Tap or any of those creeks that you were doing earlier. We want to know you're here. There's definitely something. Mm -hmm. Little footsteps back there. If you can hear our voices, can you come a little closer to us? Can you tell us yes or no if there's something evil here? Alright guys, so we are in the creepy- Which, by the way, sorry to interrupt oh, you, that's going on. Oh, solid. Solid. Go closer to this corner. <gasps> Yo! Dude, that's weird. Luke says no, like, electrical anything in that corner there. Huh. Are you standing right there? Are you standing in front of us? If you are, could you go tap this device right here? <gasps> it said oh. no while it did it. So is it trying to trick us in a sense? We heard a bunch of knocks and footsteps over here earlier. Was that you? If so, could you make those noises happen again or go and let us know on this device? Did you hear that? That's the door shaking. Right after I asked. A lot of things have been happening in threes. Isn't that mocking the Holy Trinity? Yes, it is. Three. Oh, what door? It's like it was this exit. Dude, was that Carl's apartment? Oh, wait, wait, right that's right there. there. Right in there. It's right I through don't know that which hallway. Door. Well, that was right after I asked, too. Are there multiple spirits right here? Can you give us a yes or no? There are more than one of you. <gasps> yes. 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 Is there more than 10 spirits here in this building? What was what that? Was that? That, was that was screaming. That was a voice. <sighs> No. no. Okay. So it's less. Less than 10. Less than 10. But there are multiple. Can you tell us yes or no if we'll be dealing with something evil tonight? Dude. What? That light by the bar just turned off and on. What? It's Which one? Which one? Uh, the one to the right. That's right where we just heard that. Was that a sign? Again, our question is if there's anything evil here with us tonight. Can you make that light flicker or make that noise happen again over there? Yes. Yes. What'd you so just ask? We eat something evil. Also noting that this has been on That's just three. Solid. And there's her. no electrical. They, they turned off everything. <laughs> you... Okay, again, what was that? Yeah, did you hear that? Yeah. That was like yeah. a shuffle. Is there someone over there? We're gonna be here all night. How do you feel about that? Are, are you okay with us being here all night? Yeah, do you like that we're here? That was a little girl's that voice. Was voice. That was a girl's was voice. A voice. Dude, I'm not trying to freak you out, but I thought I... Yeah. No. no. Was it not a little girl? It said Sam. Did anybody else hear I that? heard just I... a little girl voice, but I didn't hear what it said. There's no one outside. There's no one inside with us. We're just trying to figure out who is with us. You said there's multiple of you. Yes. Yes. We just want to know, do you like that we're here? Do you enjoy company? Do you want us to leave? Do you not enjoy our company? Yes. yes. Would you be more comfortable if there was just one of us tonight? Are you intimidated by crowds? Mm. If Sam went somewhere alone tonight by himself, that's Sam right there. Would you be, would you like that? Would you like that if he was alone? What said your name? <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh. Oh. spirits that might be fucking demons. So you might not be the location to go alone anywhere. Yeah. No. Yes. yes. Are the spirits that we've been talking to comfortable with us inviting a few more spirits in? We just want to get the story straight of Bobby Mackey's. Yes, that's right, good. Guys, we have like a ritual. You want to do the ritual? Same ritual we did over at Joe's. 
worked last time. It worked last time. I'm scared though. Because it worked at Joe's. It said yeah. no. Oh. Well, we're doing it anyway. Yeah, sorry. It's creepy though because it worked well at Joe's and that place is very lightly haunted. This place is insanely haunted. Before we get into the ritual, which is going to be terrifying, if you guys want to see the behind the scenes and other stupid stuff that we are doing on these trips, go to exploreclub.com for all exclusive content. Link down below. We're all naked on there, yeah, all of us. Let's see naked. this naked. Oh, nice. I have an anonymous account in the club, and uh, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> Worth it! Why is the um, phone ringing? Yeah, why is the phone ringing right now? Didn't you say everything was like off? Yeah, and there's no one here. Wait, wait, wait hold on. Is that? Is that in Carl's room? Is that in Carl's room? <gasps> wait, where's that coming from? It is, it is, it is. It's in Carl's room. Hello. Please leave a message after the door. What the? Let's see if there's a message. Dude. Dude, they got. What? Huh? What the hell was that, dude? Okay, but we're not even allowed to go in there. No one is allowed to go in there. Dude, that would give me freaking shit. Yeah, Wait. that was out of nowhere. Wasn't it earlier we were saying that we were hearing footsteps near his room, or like his door? room? Yes. And now this we're door. hearing this, we're getting led towards this area that but we're not even supposed to be in. up there? Who calls this place at midnight? What the fuck? Going up? Where, where is it? Where is right it? over here. Where'd you put Wait, it? Where is it? Wait, where? Where? Where'd it go? Where is it? Dude, no joke. Hey, where is it? I put it. Where right did? Where did you put it? I put it right here. It was on this left. Yo, Colby. As soon as you walked into the bathroom, the music box started going off in here, in this other room, and then we There's have no idea no where the fuck box. it is. And there's no one else in this entire place. But the sound came from here. Are you sure you didn't pack it up? Oh, dude, I literally left it here after. Like, I haven't came back since. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Where the fuck is it? Yeah, where, where is, is it? Where is the music box? We've had two interruptions now trying to set up this ritual. The phone and now the music box that's somehow gone. We got a lot of the names written down of the people that haunt this place, so let's burn it and put it in the jar. Earlier tonight, we went to the Licking River, which flows north and could be possibly the reason why this place is haunted, and we grabbed some water right here. Wait, guys, wasn't it an empty fucking jar before? Yeah, and then you poured the water in to let it not burn anymore. Correct. Should we go empty the other jar? No, 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 let's go pour this back yeah, into yeah, that, the other the river. jar. <laughs> <laughs> the river. It will do this all over again. This will come into play later. When we cover the code, oh. I'm out of here. <laughs> Should we kiss our friend Dakota? Okay, so you'll be the jar holder opener. All right, we are out in the front summoning all the spirits that have to do with Bobby Mackey and all the possible deaths that have to do with the history. We're inviting all of these spirits on this piece of paper to come join us tonight. All right. Doing it again. This is not a good go. idea. It worked last time. So all the names are on fire. All right, calling all spirits. That looks fucking terrifying. Now I'll summon them inside. Let's go. Let's do it. We're summoning all the spirits here at Bobby Mackey's to come communicate with us tonight. Starting with you, Pro Brian, Pro Brian, Pro Brian, Johanna Jewel, Johanna Jewel, Johanna Jewel, Buck Brady, Buck Brady, Jackson, Buck, Scott, Lonzo Walling, Robert Randall, Robert Randall, Robert Randall. Robert Randall. Let's go set up the experiment, see if it worked. Okay. Okay. This is one of the most demonic places we've ever been, and I just want to make sure this whole thing works. A lot of people say Johanna is not actually a real person, not a real spirit, and the things that impersonate her might not be a human spirit. So I want to test that theory by doing this ritual one more time. And no better place to do it than right outside the basement. I have one piece of paper, and it just says Johanna Jewel. I'm gonna invite whatever spirit is trying to mask itself as Johanna Jewel to come here and make yourself known tonight. Spirit of Johanna, or whatever, inhuman spirit. Show yourself tonight. Johanna Jewel, Johanna Jewel, Johanna Jewel. <sighs> All right guys, this 
is the door to Carl's. This leads to the staircase upstairs in the spotlight room. The spotlight room is the location that Carl found the rest of Johanna's journal. Whether it's real or not, that would be where her spirit is. I'm gonna leave this jar with the ritual water here, as well as a static box and the camera, and then I'm gonna get back to the other guys. Are we ready? What? Are you ready? Huh? This is right where Carl Lawson was Literally, trying to be exercised. Like the video you saw of the possession. He's sitting here and the priest is there. That's terrifying. You are going under right here doing the Gansfield experiment for the second time ever Part in two. one video. I just think this is the coolest looking experiment we've ever seen. <laughs> oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, this looks God. actually insane. Oh, yeah, that's not falling off. Here we go. Nice. That looks nice. good. Oh, it's oh, bright as fuck. Oh! oh. This you want me to turn that fuck. on for you? I only see red. <laughs> Is there someone here with us? No. So you weren't here earlier. Is that correct? It was the back of something? Back. Okay. What? Motherfucker. So you don't like us here? Is that what we're getting? With the fire? The fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The burn. Oh, yeah. The burning of the names. We wrote down a bunch of names in this jar. Can you maybe tell us your name? They're repenting. Oh, God. Are we talking about the spirits that are here? What are they repenting over? They are moving backwards. Can you give us a number? Out. Are we talking to someone whose name is in that Deranged. jar? Deranged. Are you talking about one of the people that was possessed here? Ghost. Can you confirm? Portal on the floor. I was oh, just gonna no. ask. Oh Wait. God. I was literally just gonna ask about the portal. Can you confirm that there's a portal to hell? Oh my Dude, god. I was gonna say like coming out of. Talking on YouTube. I mean this is for YouTube. Do you know what that is? Camera. Oh my god, yes, it yeah. does. Wait. I'll find you. Is there more spirits here than just the ones that we brought in? Religion. Religion. Mm. I know people, yes. People who come here with crosses or have crosses get attacked. Why aren't you guys wearing crosses? There, you got three more in. What? Three more what three? than we originally asked? Yeah. It's been three. It's been threes, threes. threes. again. Three. three more spirits than the original names on He shouldn't do that. You have something against religion? If you... If you what? Warning. Warning. This is yeah, I don't like that. Uh, this is starting to get dark. How come none of the exorcisms done here have worked out? They have We drowned down here. What the fuck? Wait, can you confirm if you died here? Thank you. Not here. Okay, not, not here. here. I'm broken. Oh, 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 a lady. lady. Oh right my Yeah, that's God. me. Oh, oh my God. Dude. Okay. Wait, okay. So that's we're talking crazy. to Pearl Bryant. I can't wait. Okay, I cannot talk at all with this going on, but I'm starting to see some weird shit. What are you saying? Okay. What are you saying? For a second, there was just, like, it almost looked like smoke or something was going, uh, like, around my eyes. Were your hands, like, right here at all? No, no, no. no, no, no. no. It looked like this. Little shadows passing Dude. by my okay. eyes. Everything is making sense, so keep going, and if, okay. you, if you see anything more, just let us know. Yeah. Okay, okay. Who possessed Carl? Carl. Was Carl actually possessed by a demon? Can you Story. Is it not true? What was affecting him? I can tell you even more. Are you the thing that was possessing Carl? Can Maybe. You... That's not good. That's, that's, the that's not important. important. That's, not... that's not important. What the that's fuck? There's more? You're a fool. The thing? Dude! Fool. The okay. thing? You know, the thing that, that was supposed to be a demon. Are we talking directly to a fucking demon? That's Give me, and then they're filming. It's Isn't like they can see us. Yes. This is definitely an intelligent spirit. You don't Music want... box. What? Really? Maybe it was the one fucking with the music box? Tonight. What's gonna happen tonight? Is that a warning? Be careful. Dude. Tonight, be careful. Fuck. Okay. Dude. This is not good. Oh my Something. god. Something. Are you gonna hurt one of us? All right, guys, that, that image is back a little bit. I'm gonna try to explain it, but I can't hear myself talk at all. It's, again, like a like a smoky visual where it's not solid objects. It's just hazy, smoky. Like a fire? Man, it looks like right in the center of the ping pong balls, there's like a dark circle that's just emerging. Like a and then the smoke around it is just getting bigger and bigger, and the, and the hole is slowly getting bigger. I just, I just, what, what, what the fuck? What just what happened? Happened? I've never. What is your hearing? I don't know. 400? I heard like a crunk, crumple or whatever like that, and almost like pressure in my ear. I looked it's over at you. Weirdest thing in the world. Like you were in pain. Yeah, no, it, it felt was me. So it was me. It was me.
Oh my god! From the woods. From, from the woods? What is what? what happened in the woods? We were there. Dude, Who was there? The Who's affecting Sam right now? Did what? you just touch him? Did you just touch me on my ear? Right, right happens. What are you trying to do right now? Do you guys smell cigarettes? No. Is that I just got a whiff of like cigarette smoke right now. No, I don't smell it. Heat wave. Never. They killed me. They killed me. They. they. Who's they? Scott or Alonzo killed Pearl. 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 We're talking Pearl. about. Yeah. They killed me. Yeah. Poker. Little girl. Do you know if there's a demonic energy in the basement, Pearl? I leave immediately. No <laughs> way. Let's get him out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh um, my god. You ready, man? I'm ready. Time to get scary. Let's look out for rocks. I hear they get thrown at people. Good luck. See ya. <sighs> Hello? I just heard a footstep over there. That's Joanna's room, and this is the green room. He literally says he doesn't even want to stand in this room usually. There was two knocks above me. I don't hear him screaming or anything. No. Hopefully he's doing alright. Is it wrong that I hope he gets a demon? I just think it'd be really, really cool. Alright, I'm gonna come into the room with the portal. If there's anyone here, I'm alone. I've heard that is the best way to get your attention. Feel free to say hi. If you want to show yourself, I'm right here. They say right here is a portal to hell. If that's true, make a sound. Three knocks. Johanna, are you in here? We're about to do our final investigation. If you can make yourself known, tell us your story. We want to understand why this place is known to be one of the most demonic locations in the entire United States. I welcome you to tell your story. What the fuck was that? Yeah? Yo! That was like five minutes. There was a lot of noises, I'll tell you that. But I think we're ready. We got a bunch of trigger objects here. Roses, flowers for Johanna. Cigarettes too, did she? Wait, I smelled a cigarette. Is that a manifestation of hers? Probably, yeah. Let's see if she's here. Is there anybody over there, Johanna? If you want, at any point tonight, you can show us that you're here by walking in front of this little box and it will do that. We also have the obelisk right here. If you want to come up and talk to it, you can come choose any word from the dictionary and we'll be able to understand what you're trying to say. And finally, the REM pod. Planet after. After being in this planet. If you want, you can also come up to this little red light. Shoots out a little, ooh. Immediately. Perfect, oh my gosh, thank you. Perfect, Johanna, if, if that's you, can you just give us one more confirmation? Oh my god. In the pitch dark. You're the only one who's gonna be able to see it. Let me just show the audience. It might look like it's really bright, but it's not. We are shooting in night vision. So, this is what we're seeing. I can't see anything. I don't like this at all. So, I'm gonna turn on the Alice box right now. This is a device that has a word database inside of it. It's kind of like the Ovulus. See if we can get anything to talk to us. If there's any spirits in here, anyone who wants to talk to us, you can choose words in this device. Pearl, are you still here with us? We were talking to you earlier. At least we believe it was you. Can you confirm that you're still here with us? Pearl, we're here tonight to tell your story and we'd love to get some answers. Solid. It's a solid. solid. I've been to a lot of places that have had dark entities before and this is exactly what all those places what feel like. Pearl. Pearl? P-O-L-E? Maybe it was trying to say Pearl. It might not have that word in the database. Can you do another P word for us? Home. No, Home. no, Home. no, Home. no, you're joking. And then probably, probably, no, no way, way no, dude. Two P words no are way. Fuck. That's insane. What the hell? That's insane. <gasps> That's insane. Because we were standing far away. Johanna, can you step away for a second? If you. Peace. Peace. Channeling. Channeling. 
Okay. Channeling peace. Three! No three. way! No way! It's a three. It's a three. Everything has been three. Johanna, can you confirm that you're here one more time by touching this red light right here or going in front of this little music box? Just want to make sure we're talking to you specifically. Right there, boom. Wait, so Johanna's not cheating. Oh my god. I don't know what that means. Johanna, if you are a real person who performed at this nightclub, can you go up to the REM pod and touch it again, just like you have been? Is the story true? Over. 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 Oh! Stars. So the story's true. I mean, there's no record of it, but yeah, Johanna might be a real person. Johanna, if you know the name Robbie Randall, could you come up to the red light and touch it like you've done before? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Thank you. That was her lover. So it is true. Pro, before you were trying to give us a warning to leave immediately, do you have another warning for us now that we're downstairs in the basement? Anguish. Anguish, that means like pain, right? So a lot of people when they come down here to talk to Pearl, they bring pennies and they face them head up to trigger Pearl because obviously, you know, she lost her head. She was decapitated. Beast. 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 Holy shit. Anguish and then beast. Biblically, that's like demon type stuff. Isn't that the same like the mark of the beast? It's the mark, mark of, of the, the beast. beast. The mark of the beast is the devil. What? Bell. Johanna, is there something darker here? An energy that's maybe more malevolent? Yeah, Johanna, is there something evil here? Is the portal to hell an actual portal? Did you tell Carl Lawson to go dig it up? Stab. Cloister. Oh! Stab? I want to see if we can turn off the temperature. There. Stab. Did anybody get stabbed? Pro got decapitated. Oh, yeah. We feel like she's already here. We're just gonna do this to possibly keep her here. Dude, I can't believe it said beast. Like, so, beast. Like, after like talking about, is there a what certain going on that we should watch out for? Dude, weird. Just look blinking. at the look at the screen. What? Is it blinking on us? You guys are like flickering. The IR light's what? not. IR light's fine. fine. I'm gonna turn it. Okay. Okay, that was weird. The, it just like, something just did happened. It, did it just stop? It's fine now. Pearl, can you give us one more word to let us know that there's something evil down here? We know you just said beast, but we're looking for a double confirmation, just like you did with the two P words. Pearl, you were giving us warnings before and we just want to make sure that we are aware of what we're dealing with. Can you let us know what we're dealing with? silent like this. Pearl just warned us about the beast. Then we put the pennies down. That's supposed to trigger Pearl. I mean, maybe she got upset and left. But now we're left with whatever the beast is. Is it true that something evil here tends to hurt people? Throw bottles at them, scratch them. Do you know of something here that's able to do that? Are you able to do that? Yeah. It's almost like she left. Is there anybody else that wants to come through? Maybe not Johanna. If so, please make yourself known. No. Oh, oh my god. god! Oh my oh, god! Wait, that has not happened before. That right? is insane. That's its way of just saying. Didn't it say earlier upstairs that they don't even want to talk to us? Yeah. Wait, so this new thing that just came in, I was like, oh, I don't want to make myself known. So this is the room where Alex, the guy who gave us the tour earlier, this is the room he said he feels the most uncomfortable in. It's the room right between the room with faces on the wall and the portal. So we're gonna leave the EMF rope on the ground. And if anything comes around here, we will see it because it'll flash. Bless you. All right, so we set up the tripwire. That one's going off. That one's going off right next to us. Can you walk into the direction you want us to go? More. More? More. More. Is there more you want to show us? Which way should we be going? Lean. Who do you guys think this is right now? Do you think we're still talking to Pearl? It is really hard to tell because you never know if you're talking to something that it is Pearl or something that's trying to mimic something else. I don't know if Pearl's still here, but she definitely just warned us about this darkness here, yeah. this evil. If something else wants to come in here, I'm gonna open the door. <gasps> oh my god. If anything is out there in the rest of the basement, feel free to come into Johanna's room and talk to us. We want to understand what's down here. What was that? Was that, what that probably was them, yeah. Oh! Someone's back! Is someone new just come in? If so, give us a sign. <gasps> there it is. You keep saying three the entire night. Is that Trump? <sighs> yes. Didn't you just turn that off? 
fame. It was talking about YouTube and like recording and camera upstairs too. It sounds like one thing here, like Johanna was cool with talking to us and then we got like something tried. tried. <laughs> then we got something that did not want to talk to us, literally said no. But who came in? Under. Under. Under? Under. You gotta think about like Carl was told to start digging underneath the floorboards. That's what he did and he found the well. There's so much though, there's mob activity that was down here. Like who knows how many people were actually murdered in this basement. You can follow me into this room. Oh what did it say? Leg. Leg. That's weird. She had her head cut off, or whoever we're talking to. Dude, I don't even think this is Pearl anymore. I'm sorry, but after Whoa, 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 whoa. all of them just went off. All of them did. All of them just went off. They're freaking out. I don't even know if I got that on camera. That's the first time I've ever seen them all go off. Right when I put my foot into this portal room. Aim. Aim, leg, and then aim. What do you mean by aim? It's broken! What the hell? Let me try to get this on camera. It's so hard to see in night vision. Every single light on this chain just like flickered at once. Like just like that! Can you make them all go off again? Joe. Joe? Joe? Just got Joe. Johanna. Light. Light? Light. Light? Just like the lights on the ground. Can you make them go off? Oh, no, just like that! Oh, oh. Just like that! Got it, I got that one. Better. Dude, what is happening? I don't even know what to think right now. Shit. What, what happened? I'm not Priest. Like cramped. Priest? Priest. Are you okay? Yeah, it just literally felt like just like a Charlie horse for a second. Like right when you walked out of the... Yeah. It said leg before. Oh god, it did it say said leg. leg before. It said Dude. leg the second you walked in, and then the second you walked out, you felt something. And it said aim. Still like... I don't know. What does it feel like? Feels like it's a little cramped up right now. Ow. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you doing something to Alex's leg? Okay, hold on. It actually like feels like it's burning. It's burning? Hold that. Dude. Is there a oh fuck. Oh, there is a it, it just said received. It just oh. said received. What the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, you're bleeding. Did you run into something, dude? No. Dude, it actually feels like it's burning right now. You. Yeah. You guys done? Dude. We just got done. Wait, what the fuck? This is not good. No, no it's joke. Wait, what happened? Dude, I don't know. My no, leg climbed up wait. and then it started to burn. Wait, no fine. fucking way. Just like, oh my god. Dude, it's before we got leg. When I what? On the deck, it, said, it leg. said leg. Right when I walked in. What? When I walked out is when it felt like something just like cramped up in you my leg. You felt that happen? I yes. felt it like a ball just cramp up in my leg and I thought it was nothing. And then it started to burn. And you're sure you did not run into anything? No. Did you see me? No, no, no. I was standing right here most of the time. Wait till you watch our footage. You're gonna freak out. Dude, all of the lights were going off too yes. at the same oh. time. <sighs> Dude, what just happened? Are you good? I'm fine, but that's... Like, I don't think we should be messing around with this. I've never been, like, attacked like that. And it freaking warned us. It said leg, and we had no idea what that meant. It said aim. And then the second we lifted up his pant leg, it said received. Yeah. And yeah. received is just like, it here, that was the warning. Even if Pearl was there, like, there's only so many warnings that we can take before they're just like, these guys are not getting it. Exactly. Like, they're not gonna leave. We have to do something aggressive to get them out of here. That is fucking messed up, dude. That was like worse than anything I've ever gotten. Yeah. Anything like Chris has got. That was like boiling up. Mm -hmm. Like as if it was not just a scratch, but also a burn. Are we sure this is safe? After seeing that, I don't think so. If this was anybody else, any other guest, I would say let's get out of here. These guys obviously do the paranormal stuff a lot, so I think they're down. Either way, I say let's keep it. Well is right here. Alex is under, because apparently it wants to tell him something specific. Let's make this quick. Can you hear us? Is there somebody here? Here. Oh, oh immediately. That's fine. That's All immediate. Right. Do you have a name? Or could you give us a clue of who you are? Stop, that might be something that we just talked to. Again, it did not, it was like inside. Immediately. Did you come from inside, Fabio Mackey's? Look behind. Oh, oh, the building inside the fucking well. Is this well truly a portal, like they say? Sort of. Sort of? Sort of. How did the haunting start here? Huh. It's the same entity that possessed Carl. Is that the same thing that just did this to Alex's leg? Are we dealing with something demonic? You already know. Ooh. You already know. And dude, we know because it's three. You just said that. Dude, sinners. Sinners? sinners? Uh, dude. What? Hey, yeah, we should keep this right quick. This is definitely this is not good. demonic. Why what? is there something evil here? Why is there a demon here? Where did you come from? Always in here? Dude. What? Dude, that was perfect. Like that was actually perfect. Can this portal or whatever ever be closed? 
torn down. Torn down? Not Mackey's is being torn down. Or well, renovated. Yeah, yeah, they're getting rid of everything. Like they're re running. Stop it. Doesn't like us talking would, about or, it. Or, or would tearing down stop it? Would tearing down this building, would that stop this portal? Would that finally put an end to this? What was that? No, 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 I was over here. Wait, guys, let's go. What? There was a giant knock behind you. Oh, oh, dude, no, 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 no. Okay, footstep. Okay, go, 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 go. Right. Grab this stuff. Oh my god. You cannot follow us. I think it lived up to its reputation. Yeah, this yeah, compared to Joe Rogan's is insane. There's a reason why this has decades of history. 1,000%. Never been investigated. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here.